you may be generic, but this is actually one of my favorite places in the world. Why? Well, I think it represents the most important infrastructure of the 21st century. This is a part of Microsoft's Columbia data center campuses. These house the computers that fuel our lives. There are more than 20 buildings, each large enough to house two commercial aircraft. They fill 2 million square feet. They're spread out over 300 acres. But what's really interesting is what's inside. It's something that almost no one ever gets to go see. But come with me, it's COVID times. I need to wear my mask, but I'll show you around. Well, as we walk around, first I've just spared you, not just a metal detector, but what is probably the longest and most substantial security checkpoint you'll ever find on planet Earth. But what is so interesting to me is what you see here. This is just a glimpse of the types of server computers that we find in room after room and building after building on these campuses. There are almost half a million of these server computers. They store as much data as you would find in more than 50,000 libraries of Congress. And I think that captures so well how this really is the infrastructure for almost everything that we're engaged in today. The way you live your life, the way you do your work, the way research and development are all moving forward. It all relies on this enormous amount of data and this enormous amount of computing power. So you just see here so much innovation all connecting together. But actually, that's not the end of the story. Come back outside and I'll show you one more really interesting piece. These campuses represent not only the most advanced digital infrastructure in the world, but some of the most advanced energy infrastructure as well. Why? Well, first, if we ever lose power from the electrical grid, we need to keep the computers running. There are more than 19,000 battery cells, each like the battery under the hood of your car, that will do just that. And at the same time that that happens, these big electrical generators will start operating as well. In fact, there's more than 140 of these generators on these campuses. Each of these will power the equivalent of 3,000 homes. The good news is with the latest advances in emissions technology, they actually give out less emission than a typical lawnmower you might use in your backyard. Each today runs on diesel fuel. In fact, there are tens of thousands of gallons of diesel fuel stored here, but not 10 years from now. We've said that by the end of this decade, each one of these needs to go. They'll be replaced by either new generators that run on hydrogen power or new advanced fuel cells. And in that, you see this extraordinary intersection between digital technology, energy technology, environmental science, and the need for innovation. This, in so many ways, is the physical embodiment of our mission to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more.